fraisier cake. As the name suggests, this exquisite French dessert is a true celebration of sunny days and the vibrant flavors of summer. Hey, Bruno Albuz here. Welcome to my blog, brunoalbuz.com. All right, let's get to work. So first in the agenda, I am going to show you how to make the perfect and so soft and rich almond biscuit based on marzipan. So we're gonna cut the marzipan into pieces and mix with uh, sugar first. Then I'm going to drop an egg. And as soon as the mixture is getting softer, I'm going to swap the paddle attachment with uh, the whisk. So beat it for 10 minutes at least on full blast. Add remaining eggs gradually and you will end up with a great emulsified mixture. Mix about a cup of this almond mixture with the melted butter and set aside. Fold sifted flour with the baking powder then add the saved portion that has the butter in it. Spread mixture onto a quarter sheet baking pan lined with a greased baking mat or parchment paper and bake for about 25 minutes. Next, I'm gonna make the pastry cream. So first, you want to bring to a boil uh, the milk with uh, a fraction of the sugar and the vanilla. Turn off the heat and let it infuse for about 20 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to mix egg yolks, sugar and starch together. And I like to use both cornstarch and flour. Temper yolk mixture with the hot milk and pour everything back to the saucepan. Bring to a boil and cook custard for two minutes, whisking constantly. Then spread a custard onto a sheet tray lined with plastic wrap, let cool and refrigerate. Next, we're gonna cut out the almond biscuit into desired shapes. And in order to reinforce uh, bottom cakes, you want to spread a thin layer of chocolate coating or add 10% of oil in melted dark chocolate. Chill sponge cake to set. Now, let's work on the filling, which is going to be a combination of vanilla buttercream, pastry cream, and Italian meringue. So first I'm going to heat up the milk with vanilla. Meanwhile, you want to mix the egg yolks and sugar. Same thing as you would proceed for the pastry cream without the starch. So, the milk is boiling. I'm going to temper my yolk mixture. You want to reduce the heat, pour the mixture back into the saucepan. That's gonna cook fast. And remember, this must not boil. Otherwise, it's going to separate. So if it does, you might be able to fix it with your immersion blender. Cook your crème anglaise on medium heat until temperature reaches 185 degrees Fahrenheit, 85 degrees Celsius. Or you can use the French technique called cuir à la nappe. It's when you can draw a line with your finger through the liquid custard on the back of a spoon or rubber spatula. And you know, when you're not used to, I would definitely trust the thermometer. Sieve custard over the mixing bowl and beat on medium-high. It should take about 10 minutes. You want your crème anglaise to be around 86 Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius. And then I'm gonna add the butter. Whip on low speed first until the butter is fully incorporated. Then switch gear to high speed and beat for a couple of minutes. And you will end up with this luxurious texture. Gorgeous. Next, I am going to show you how to make the perfect Italian meringue that is known to be more stable than the French and the Swiss meringue. So first, you want to beat your egg whites on medium speed and keep your egg whites to foamy stage. Meanwhile, you want to cook your sugar to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, 121 Celsius, and slowly pour the hot syrup on thin stream over the foamy egg whites. Yet, no need to beat your egg white too much before adding the syrup. Increase the speed to high and let it go for about five minutes or until it comes to room temperature. Then leave your Italian meringue running on low until ready to use. Now let's do the raspberry cocktail. Mix simple syrup with Kirschwasser and raspberry liqueur. 
So there is two ways of cleaning strawberries. You want to do it right before using, whether you give a quick bath and pat dry or use a brush. To follow, I'm going to make the strawberry marmalade insert a game changer. I'm going to dice some strawberries and save them. Meanwhile, I'm going to mix uh, some strawberries with lemon juice. Heat it up and mix in the sugar and agar-agar mixture. Bring to a boil and cook for two minutes and chill to set on ice water. Once set, mix again until it turns into a luscious mixture. Then add the diced strawberries. Done deal. In order to sublime strawberries, this cake is built upside down over a flat tray, slightly greased and lined with a sheet of plastic acetate or from a freezer bag. Do likewise with cake ring or silicone mold. If you cut strawberries into rounds, use this technique. Make a tight strawberry disc first and insert cake ring in. And you can of course duplicate this technique using any type of mold. In any configuration though, the frisier cake is a cake built upside down. So once strawberries are put in place, we gotta take care of the filling and finish the whole thing. Smooth out pastry cream and meanwhile combine the room temperature buttercream with the Italian meringue, then add the pastry cream. Nowadays though, most frisier cakes are made with crème mousseline, mousseline cream, which is a pastry cream whipped with butter. It's very good, but this formula based on crème anglaise buttercream rather than adding straight butter into your crème pâtissière offers best results. It's worth the effort. Pipe out some filling to cover strawberries. Line up more strawberry halves all around the cake ring. Add more filling and smooth out with a large spoon, making sure that there is no gaps left behind. Add some strawberry marmalade and enclose the cake with more filling and carefully even out the surface of the cake. Last step, soak almond biscuit in the raspberry cocktail. Be generous, flip it, let it rest a little bit and finish the cake. And chill for 5 hours at least before unmolding. Do likewise with the log. You want to carpet the whole cake with the fraisier filling. Then add the strawberry marmalade and cover with more filling. And carefully even out using an offset spatula. And carefully again, top the fraisier cake with the uh, cocktail moisturized almond biscuit. Once your frisier cake is completely chilled, flip and carefully unmold, it should come off easily thanks to the plastic liner. The last touch-up you want to give to your frisier cake. Brush strawberries with neutral glaze or apricot glaze. This amazing fraisier is inspired by Le Nôtre School's best cake recipes. To get the full recipe and hundreds more, visit my blog at brunoalbouz.com. This is incredible. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and click down below to the subscribe button. Have a gorgeous day. See you soon.